even MSNBC, Morning Joe is now admitting what we've independent media has been saying about Ukraine. Uh, oh, good. I, I've, I've, I found it. All right. So and this, this is my ongoing series about uh, I was right. Uh, I didn't mean for it to be an ongoing series, but it always seems to pop back up. Oh, it turns out we were right again. Those of us in the independent media who were saying the opposite of what your trash dumpster fire uh, mainstream media was saying, and they called us traitors and they go after us. And there's been articles written about how traitorous we are for daring to say that there shouldn't be a proxy war in Ukraine. And the only ones who really suffer are Ukrainians in, in, to have endless fighting and endless war that the U.S. is pushing. But so for all of this, a year and a half, coming up on two years of this proxy war in Ukraine, your mainstream media has been endorsing it, right? And has been going after any of us who said, sit down at a peace table now, that's where this is going to end. And eventually, that is where this ends, is a peace table, deciding how to stop bombing each other and do it now. And in fact, it was going to be done a month into the fighting, less than a month. And the U.S. sent Boris Johnson over there and his, his crazy hair saying, ah, stop. And they got them to stop the peace process. They got Ukraine to stop the peace process. I've covered that many times as well. By the way, top Ukrainian officials now admitting that as well. But here is MSNBC. What do you know? Coming around and realizing that we're right, that independent media is right all along. I think NATO's done an extraordinary job. How much longer uh, do we continue uh, pushing, I think, uh, what, what many people in the Pentagon would think is the unrealistic goal of Ukraine driving every last Russian uh, out, of, out of their country? It's exactly the right uh, question, Joe. And what concerns me is when people get disillusioned and increasingly come to the con what you, where, where you and I are, that as desirable as it is, it's simply not feasible. They're going to increasingly say, and we're hearing it in the House, we're hearing it in parts of Europe, why should we keep doing this? We're already stretched. We're trying to support Israel. We're worried about Taiwan. Uh, and even if we give everything we need to give or want to give to Ukraine, it still won't lead to success. What I argued, therefore, is the United States needs to have some very uh, direct conversations with Ukraine, with President Zelensky, talk about reducing their emphasis on liberating land. Anyway, uh, you, you get the point. This is MSNBC, which is one of the biggest manufacturers for a consent of war, admitting on their, you know, this might even be their most watched show, one of their most watched shows, that it's time to sit down and end this thing at, at a table, at a peace table. And it's what those of us who knew this was a bullshit proxy war from day one, it's what those of us who knew that said, we said it again and again and again, that the U.S. was fighting this proxy war to the last Ukrainian, killing Ukrainians in order to, to, to su support uh, geopolitical ends of our own, of the U.S. government's such as sanctions against Russia, trying to split Russia from the world community, but especially from Europe. Those The, the sanctions backfired, much of them on Russia, however, backfired uh, away from Russia. However, the separating them from Europe worked. Russia has now been almost completely severed from Europe economically, putting, econo putting Europe back into a, a kind of vassal system underneath the United States, which is what the U.S. wanted. Uh, so in some ways, the U.S. got what they wanted. We blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. We got to have that fun. Yay! Uh, releasing more methane than the world has ever seen, which is something like 20 times or 100 times or whatever it is more harmful to, uh, to the, more, more contributive to the climate crisis than carbon dioxide. Uh, so we got some of what we wanted, but we didn't get everything that the U.S. government wanted. But through all that, there's been no concern for Ukrainians. There's been no concern for the fact that their society is getting destroyed, that their, their people are getting killed, that their mass migrations. None of that has mattered to the U.S. at all. And so here you have one of the biggest propaganda bullhorns coming at, that, 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 that you know is created by corporate America, MSNBC, saying, even they are now saying, it uh, seems like maybe it's a good time to to sit down and uh, hammer out like a like a peace deal or something, um, and uh, and maybe not just keep uh, fighting endlessly.
So there you have it, even from the mainstream media. Even they are saying it.